Hey guys, so we can welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. We're about to start our class trial. We've discovered quite a few things, collected a lot of evidence, and gotten a few testimonials from certain witnesses. Uh, but here we are, the moment of truth. It's time to argue our case. Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Feel free to do so, Monokuma. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Ah, so that's what that room's for. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. See ya. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No. Where I have to go. There it is. Okay. They all think it was me. I'm gonna need to convince them otherwise. Whoa! Yo! Get... You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were afraid you'd be discovered as the, the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There, we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it. But... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know all that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? <laughs> is everyone here? Okay then. Please board the elevator in front of you. Which will transport you to the courtroom. Such a twisted game. Where all your fates will be decided. Not the game game, I mean Monokuma's game of having us, like, kill each other and see if we can get away with it. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. But I love this game, it's so fun. Alright, you bastards. I will find out who killed her. Alright. You better watch out. What? So whoever what? stuck us here and took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Hero. Impossible. Damn. We really gotta go through with this class trial thing, huh? You know? If you wanna confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you I didn't do it. Even if I did, I wouldn't confess, you moron. That would get me killed. <laughs> hey. There's no point in setting around. Settle your resolve and step into the future. You don't think I did it, do you? Let's get started. Got it! Relax. I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. Maybe 98%? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Sayaka would want us to find out who killed her? I can't help but wonder who, uh, what, whoever, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> I can't help but wonder what whoever killed Sayaka is feeling right now. That's such a random sentence. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? <sighs> Being so, so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. Very impressive. <laughs> well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So, the school basement has become the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Naegi's final curtain call. And Leon. You know what I mean. Well, I did my job. I'm counting on the rest of you from here on out. God, I don't know, it could be Leon. It could be a lot of people. Okay. We did see his name written, though. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well then. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite right. Makoto. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. And Sayaka's on it. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. 
With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator. When I finally stepped on, the doors closed, and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh! Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Olivia Star shared anxiety. The elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived! Ta -da! What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? <laughs> Not even close. It's total shit. Well now. Okay, okay. Everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Yippee! Hurry up now, hurry up. We did what he said, we found our seats. This even crosses. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. Wow. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which also made it be easy for anyone to transfer their tension and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Oh, here we go. All right. Whoa. This is a new menu. Court preparation pre-trial prep, chapter one. Oh, okay, cool. So I, I've got certain things. What's this class trial that Monokuma mentioned? Can Makoto sweep away the cloud of suspicion surrounding him? Even with a dead body laying in his bathroom? Find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. And what about the blackened who's actually responsible for Sayaka's death? Alright, so this is the handbook. We've got our list of evidence. Let's go over it one more time. Monokuma file. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. The death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen, and her right wrist appears to have been fractured. There are a number of scratches and gouges on the bed and walls in Makoto's room. Makoto took this from the gym entryway and put it in his room. This is the replica sword. The sword was found out. Uh, the sword was found out of its sheath on the floor in the middle of the room. The sword handle was missing. Some of the gold coating, as was part of the blade. The sheath itself. Makoto took this from the gym entryway and put it in his room. The sheath was found some distance from the sword itself, and it shows evidence of being scratched with a sharp object. Switching rooms on the night of the murder. Makoto and Sayaka traded rooms and room keys. When the victim was discovered, Makoto's room key was also found in Makoto's room. Sayaka had originally asked Makoto to switch with her when someone attempted to force their way into her room, and she became frightened. The toolkit. This had been placed in Makoto's room before he arrived. All male students would have gotten this. It remains unopened, and there is no evidence of it having ever been used. All the other male students claim they haven't used theirs either, but still. Makoto's room's cleanliness. Not a single hair was found on the floor at the scene of the crime. In addition, the lint roller shows evidence of being used. Someone was very meticulous. Saika's right wrist had been fractured and her wrist was glittery at the injury's location. In addition, her hands appeared to be completely clean except for the index finger of her left hand, which had some blood on it. A series of numbers had been written in blood on Makoto's room wall, 11037. It is assumed that Saika wrote these numbers while leaned up against the wall as she lay dying. The bathroom door frame. Makoto's bathroom door was difficult to open due to it not quite fitting in the door frame properly. The only two people who knew the trick to opening it were Makoto, the room's owner, and Sayaka, the victim. Bathroom doorknob. Makoto's bathroom doorknob had been broken. The screws holding it in place had all been partially or completely removed. Dorm nameplates. The nameplates on the doors to Sayaka and Makoto's rooms were apparently switched at some point. Kitchen knife set. The kitchen in the dining hall has a set of knives. Kitchen knives, that is. Apparently one of the knives had gone missing. Aoi's account. The knife from the kitchen went missing while Aoi was in the dining hall. Aoi swears that Makoto did not come to the dining hall at any point while she was there. Trash duty. There's apparently a trash room within the school. It's been locked off by a sturdy gate that can only be opened with the trash room key. 
Incinerator. The incinerator can be activated via a switch on the machine. Hifumi was on cleaning duty, and he claims that the last time he saw the incinerator, it was off. However, when Makoto checked it after the incident, the incinerator was, in fact, on. The distance from the gate to the incinerator is roughly 30 feet. Burnt shirt piece. A piece of burnt clothing was found next to the incinerator in the trash room. It's apparently part of a shirt cuff, and it has a noticeable blood stain on it. And last but not least, the shattered crystal ball shards of glass were found next to the incinerator in the trash room. As it turns out, the glass ball would have fit comfortably in the palm of a person's hand. Exactly, it was thrown, right? Apparently, Yasuhiro left the ball in the laundry room on accident. Well, by accident. So anyone could have come along and taken it. And that is all the truth bullets we have. Set skills. I don't suppose I have any, do I? Melodious voice increases damage to the opponent when the statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. Whoa. Well, that's the only thing I've got, it seems. Wow, so it's like an actual battle, is it? There's health bars? Okay, well, like I said, that's all I've got. I guess I'm finished preparing. Let's go make our case. Class trial. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. I'm nervous. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Okay then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. <laughs> Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. At least I can give my voice a rest. Friendship penetrates? Oh god. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. Okay. It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely, please. I need all the advantages I can get. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you've found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to aim and then fire with the left mouse button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. Oh boy, make your argument. Evidence of a struggle. Okay, that's one of them, I guess. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder Shit. took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. No. She didn't even have a chance to resist. There we go. Right? Huh? Something's off about what she just said. Because if Saika hadn't resisted at all, there's no explanation for what happened in my room. For this first debate, we'd like to take a quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lies or contradictions, that argument will repeat. Within a group of statements, some words appear in a different color. Did you happen to notice? Not quite, actually. That represents a potential hole in a person's statement, a possible weak spot. 
These weak spots reveal important, though not always inaccurate, sections of a person's statement. Your truth bullets are only effective against these weak spots, so when you see one come up, take aim and fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. Also, you can fast forward an argument by holding down the control key. Well then, good luck and have fun. Yeah, totally. This fighting I for our lives is the fun. The one who was murdered was Miss Science Camisono. All right, that was a helpful you tutorial. Know that part already. This is cool. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even there. have a chance to resist. That's the different color. I fired, right? I assert that the one who's not working. If you choose the wrong statement or a truth bullet, you will take damage. If your influence gauge reaches zero, that will end the case. Focus gauge. This determines how much concentration you can do. Concentration by holding down the space key, you can concentrate and slow down the passage of time. This will consume a focus gauge and you can't concentrate while it's empty. Fast forward, hold down the control key to speed up the rate. Weak spots when a character is talking, some text may appear in yellow. This is their weak spot and it represents a potential lie or contradiction in their argument. Multiple weak spots may appear and it's up to you to figure out what the right one and attack it, which will allow you to move the trial forward. Firing truth bullets. Press the left mouse button to fire whatever truth bullet you have loaded. <laughs> Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder Speed up. In the bathroom. So it seems most like the killer must have taken her by surprise. She didn't even have a chance. Okay, I guess I have to fire the sentence. Right. Not no, the person. That's wrong. Break. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. She can't. She wasn't there. She stayed in the gym. With the way things had been damaged. I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? That's the question. Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. Imagine if you're the killer. You must be so nervous the right now. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Pay attention, Jahiro. Come on. Okay, Get so woke, what's man. next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow. This is starting to sound like a real trial. It's a fake trial because if we get it wrong, we all die. And that doesn't happen in real tries, Hifumi. We need to determine what was used to kill Saika. We already know this. Kitchen knife's here. It's loaded. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. Not a random one. No, that's wrong. A specific one. No, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? You two. Hold on a second. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Thank you, Kyoko. Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? Thank you so much. Someone's on my side. Okay, she's not on my side, but she's standing up for me. She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere. I'm just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Yes, please. It's probably the focus stuff. Yeah, concentrate. You can concentrate by holding down the space key. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge. And if this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will cover over time. So let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. I love this music as well. Damn. Howie's account. 
She's gonna so save me. So I guess there's here. no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? I mean, Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret when nobody was in the dining hall. What was that? No, that's wrong. Damn straight. It wasn't me. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hino was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Take that, losers. Okay. Then what about this? Oh, no. What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? That's impossible because only one of us can come out alive. Why the hell would we back each other up? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? That's an interesting question. So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Exactly, right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Well, that's just specific to this case, then. Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? <laughs> there are no accomplices in this case! He's getting frustrated, going off track. Oops! Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer! Okay, so then, well, who did take the knife? That's the question. Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? Uh, I can. Oof. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. <laughs> but then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because... Um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Oh my. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. Correct. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! Wait till you find out Sakura's a girl. But... I'm a girl. <laughs> you are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> but if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Exactly. Come on, guys. Pay attention. Well, because... They're not here anymore. Oh, shit. Someone who's not here. Are you talking about... Sayaka. Yes, I figured. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Right. They must have stolen the knife off of her. Sayaka? She wanted a weapon. Okay. It's the person who took the knife from the kitchen was Sayaka. I got it! Then, 
Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. Great. Now we don't know who's taken it. I mean, who could have used it? And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. So she left her room. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. Damn it, that's a dead end then. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Oh, God. <laughs> exactly. What? See? He did do it after all. Look at that smirk. No, you're wrong. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Damn it, it wasn't me! Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. I'm terrifying, you are, you sicko. Damn. If I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die! Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer. Wouldn't you say? Once again, she comes to our rescue. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. They would have opened the bathroom door the only way they knew how. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first Hangman's Gambit is about to begin. Ooh, what's this? I like learning new things in this game. As things advance further in a class trial, the Hangman's Gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the mouse to aim, then the left mouse button to shoot the desired letters. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. If the gauge reaches zero, or if you run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. Something that should have been at the scene but wasn't. That must be the crucial point. Damn it, I can't remember. Hopefully it comes back to me. If we can just figure out what that something is. Okay. Hair. Now I understand. Figured it would. Complete. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. Exactly. I have no reason to clean up after myself. I'm... And not a tidy kiwi. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. What about all the blood that just happened to be spilled in the bathroom, Celeste? That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. <laughs> okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then, Makoto isn't the culprit? I was gonna say, they must have distinctive hair, but... Um, some of these hairstyles are similar. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? They broke the knob to get in. What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? The killer struggled getting into the bathroom, and the evidence that proves it is the object the killer broke. <laughs> Doorknob. Presenting. I got it. 
evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? <laughs> the doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Did I have to break it? No, I know how to open it, genius. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? It's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Yes, I just need to know. From here on out, the number of weak spots will start going up. Right, so it's going to start getting harder, of course. But no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is, not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now this is important, because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun. Alright, now we have to actually think. Bathroom door frame. I'm guessing the bullets will start the increasing as well. took place in Makoto's room. Saika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. Not yet. And finally, the culprit had Sayaka cornered. And to finish the job, they stabbed her with the kitchen knife. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? I admit it. We already know the answer. Okay. It's not because the door was locked. No, there's a different reason entirely. The, the door frame took place in broken. Makoto's room. Saika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. And finally, you can't, you can't lock it. The culprit had Sayaka cornered. To finish the job, Only the girls have a lock the on their bathroom door, right? It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? I admit it. We already know the answer. I have to start skipping. Don't want to waste too much time. Okay, it's not because it was locked. The incident took place in the cup. Saika was first, she then fled into the- Then the killer ran and they got into the back. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door because Sayaka had locked it. Damn it, I missed it. And finally... To finish the <laughs> this is costing me time. We already know the answer. Okay, maybe I need to slow down. The incident took place. Saika was first, she then fled into the- Then the killer ran and they got into the back. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had I missed it again. And finally... To finish the job. It was you! We already know the answer. <laughs> God, how many times do I have to do this? The incident took place. Saika was first, she then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after, and they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and Get bust it. down the door. Wrong. Huh? What's wrong? If you keep trying to disrupt the trial, you're gonna put the trial. You're gonna get put on trial yourself. Shoot! Let me think about it one more time. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. It's the door lock, right? But the it's because he threw me off. He said Sayaka it's not because the door was locked. Then, the then the killer ran and they got into the back. At that point, the killer, because Sayaka had locked it. Got it. No, that's wrong. Yeah, I was right the first time. She kind of locked it. It's the guy's bathroom. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yup, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? 
but to have such a cruddy door. I'd say the ultimate gambler is more lucky. <laughs> That's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Because they thought it was Sayaka's room because the nameplates were switched. Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. I have to say, if you were trying to graduate, Kyoko is probably the person you'd have to kill. The killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know that the door actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime that they didn't know was... They didn't know that the crime took place in my room. I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable! You were right outside my room. You could see the nameplate switched, goof. And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. But the killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. Okay, I'll take the doubt. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Guess what? Who didn't know we switched rooms? All of you! That's what I've been trying to tell you. Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up! Quit without saving! What? But what happens no. <laughs> if we can't decide on who we think did it? I get it. He, he gives up on trying to figure out who it is. Well, then. Why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! Are you stupid? Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Spit it out. Oh, you. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Exactly. Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? You need the key, right? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then... Maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Right, okay, so never mind, there goes the lockpick theory. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. They followed her in. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. Unlikely. No, that can't be it either. She was fearful for her life. Oh! -ho! Trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. The only way they could have gotten in then is then they must have followed her inside when she came back from the kitchen to get the knife. If that's true, I'm just going on a little theory spitball in here, then Hina and Sakura couldn't have killed her. And I definitely killed, not killed her. So, okay, that rules out a couple suspects, I guess. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Why are you pointing at me through the computer screen? You should be pointing beside you at Makoto. Because she asked me to do something in particular. Because of how frightened she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way so I can let someone in because... Uh...
Yeah. I got it. For reason, she's frightened. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? What? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Ooh. Why would she lie about something like that? We've been too trusting. I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? I can't. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Wait, what? So, sh is this a note? Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. You're just bringing this up now? And these are the words that appear. Oh, man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? No. No, I didn't. But of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Right, I completely forgot. <laughs> then that note. Sayaka wrote it? But, but why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. Then why switch rooms? If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Yes, please.